get to see the cool animation again. This is really cool. Re Whoa, bro, calm down. I'm in God mode. Boom. And look at this animation. Hey, Orvo, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are checking out another giant update for another Terraria content mod, the Split Mod. I'm excited to check this out. You know, the Split Mod is a mod that you install, of course. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> But you install it next to vanilla Terraria and it just feels like a seamless experience. It has a lot of content that just feels very vanilla like and that's always my favorite type of Terraria mods. Ones that can seamlessly fit into the regular progression of the game. Another big update has come out for it. Don't get it confused with the spirit mod. This is the split mod. I know they both start with the S. But yeah, let's get right into it. We got a couple things we're going to check out here. We're going to check out weapons, more weapons, mounts, bosses, and other cool features that they added in. Uh, very similar to the spirit mod video how i just checked out cool things that i wanted to check out and not every little detail but yeah let's get to it so the first thing we are going to check out is a new type of melee weapon they added in and this one i'm really hyped about because it's such a unique idea and that is rackets so we got about eight of them here i believe that's all of them currently added in and yeah the rackets what do you expect rackets to do to hit a ball and that's exactly what they do so we got the wooden one summons a ball that can be tossed right click to slash without creating a ball if we left click boom we summon in a ball and as you can see where our mouse is aiming that's where the ball is and uh, pretty much we just left click we hit the ball towards enemies towards bosses and it hits them and then if we right click with it uh without summoning in the ball so meaning like there's no ball here you right click you do a regular attack so we got a dummy here let's just go ahead let's see it attacking the dummy very nice you could also bounce it off the floor uh and get some cool trick shots going on here i'm terrible so far i'm like one for seven there we go and then you know if you don't have the ball equipped boom there's your just i'm in trouble i don't have the ball out i'm swinging just off of the uniqueness alone, I love this little subclass already. You guys know how I love unique stuff in Terraria. So this just automatically, I love it. So we got the next one here, Stinky. Summons a stinky ball that can be tossed. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's just see the right click. Whoa, way faster. Let's see the stinky ball. Ew. Stinky, nasty ball. Does the like clouds do anything? I don't know. I don't think they do but the velocity is a lot better the damage is a lot better obviously as we go up through the tiers it's gonna get better next up we got the enchanted one of course let's see the slash attack not as fast as the uh stinky one but let's see the ball the ball looks cooler of course uh it doesn't really look like a ball if we're looking at it. it's not the greatest circle don't know if that's intended or not but we can swing this a lot faster we can do more damage of course on to the next the rib racket summons two ivory balls which can be tossed and pierce enemies let's see the slash of course i wonder if the slash is going to be different on any of them i guess we'll see soon yeah the rib one we get two balls look at that so they both get shot out at once or actually no sometimes they do sometimes they don't i don't know maybe it depends on the angle you swing but yeah very cool how we get more balls they got cooler animations too they got spikes on them on to the next which i believe these next four are hard mode ones starting with the instigator summons three balls fireballs explode on impact beautiful uh does this do like fire damage or anything nope still a regular slash let's see it in action though we got two and boom bada bing we got three so if we zoom out a little bit here look at this so yeah, I guess it really does depend on the angle and timing. You can hit multiple balls at once, or you can just hit one ball at a time. So far, really cool. I don't know if there's any accessories or armor that benefit the uh, rackets or not. Hopefully in the future they add that in. We'll see though, it's a subclass, they don't need to. But unless they really want people to use the subclass, I, I would. Uh, next up, we have the Hyperboloid. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Summons three electrical orbs that can be tossed. Nearby enemies are struck with lightning bolts. And of course, right click to slash. Let's see, one, two, three. Oh, these got more of a ball shape. Yeah, these ones, something about electricity. I'm assuming if there's like multiple enemies or something, the electricity hits some. Oh my God. <laughs> On to the next, we got the chill bane. Summons three frost balls. Frost balls accumulate cold and shatter small pieces when struck, of course. Let's see them in action. So they break every time I hit them. Damn, this one's really good. And on to the last one, of course, a Terra version. Terra, Terra kit, Terra kit. Summons four daisy flowers, which can be tossed. Flowers release colorful petals. Let's see it in action. The right click, probably the strongest of them all in terms of just base damage. But let us see the petals. Four of them, right? Wow, look at that. Let me just fly up a little bit here and let's, let's see them in action. You see, they got little projectiles bouncing off of them. And I'm assuming those, proje those projectiles hurt things too. But yeah, there you go. There was one of the new subclasses this mod adds in because 
it does add in another subclass. That other subclass being the heavy swords. I'm very excited to see these. Uh, I believe I organized them in damage order slash hard mode. I think these three are hard mode ones. But yeah, I'm hyped to see these in action. Who doesn't love them some swords, especially heavy ones? So as you can see, this says heavy melee damage. Uh, I don't know if these said anything else. No, they just said regular. This says heavy. And it gives me an additional defense when holding it. So if I'm not holding it, yeah, I'm at zero. So let's see it in action here. I don't know if I got to hold left click or just tap it. Let's see. Oh, holding it. Oh, so I'm holding it right now. What about tapping? Okay, so tapping is pretty much the same. But this is really cool. Is there a right click? Okay, no right click. But look at this. On to the next, we got the eccentric scissors. Wait, did this do anything else? No. Uh, time your second attack well to deal a slicing third hit. Auto swings after two attacks. Oh, that's really cool. So I don't know if I have to time anything. Here's me like clicking, clicking, and then here's me holding. I guess it doesn't really matter. Next up, we have the gold and the platinum claymore. It gives us defense, of course. Uh, most of these are materials, and I'm assuming the materials for this or either something in the Fargo's mod, I don't know. But let's see them in action here. So just much like the uh, cactus one, just heavy swings. And then there's just variations of each other, of course. I like the animation though. Next up, we have the rhyme blade. Right click to infuse the blade with ice powers. So we got the regular left click. I'm just holding left click. This is what it does. It has some range to it. I wonder, nah, this is the, that's all. Just holding left click does this. Boom, right click. I, I don't know. It's got a cool little animation going on up there. Maybe it does more damage. I, I don't know. <laughs> Next up, we have the Clippeth Cutter. Clippeth gives us defense. Keep attacking after a second swing to slice through enemies inflicting fire, of course. So I'm assuming, yeah, it's just, oh. We could do this attack like infinitely. That's pretty cool. When's if I miss a hit though? No, you can still, ooh, and you can aim it? This is really cool. I'm wondering then, can you aim? Oh, you can aim all of them. That's really cool. That's really like 1.4 type stuff. It gives me a uh, short sword 1.4 vibes. All right, next up we have the Zwei Hander. I believe there's a lot of Dark Souls references in this mod. That or just similarities. I love Dark Souls. I love the Souls game, so I love to see it. Auto swings after two attacks. Of course, let's see it. I'm holding left click. I'm not seeing the... Oh, there you go. Okay. I had to tap left click and then hold it. And then we got the auto swing. And last but not least, we have the uh, Schwarzwelt. 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 I don't know. Something like that. Gives us a bunch of defense and shoots bloody daggers on each swing. Can I like see the daggers? Not really, but I'll take the word for it. All right. And the last three here are the hard mode ones. Starting with the Antarctic Oscillation. What a name. Shoots a huge glacier beam. All right, let me get back here. Ooh, I like this one. So you can hit him with the blade itself, and then you can hit him with a beam. Very nice. Next up after that, we have the dragonfish. Let's see this one. Okay, so this one also has a uh, projectile. And then you get here real close, hit him with the projectile and the sword. I like how this one looks, though. It's a dragonfish, and you're using its, like, tongue. And last but not least, the last heavy sword in this version. I was told by the developers they're going to add more and more as updates go on, which is really cool. Maybe in the future, we do some subclass playthroughs with these. But yeah, last but not least, the Summit Breaker. Gives us a bunch of defense. Let's stand back. I'm assuming there's a projectile. No, no projectile this time. Whoa! That's really cool. It shakes the screen. I, I like when sh screen shakes from uh, Terraria mods. I don't know if they have any screen shaking in 1.4, but not a lot of mods use screen shaking as uh, special effects. But yeah, that one's really cool. And I really like these heavy swords. I like it. I really like both of these subclasses. They're unique. They're different. We'd love to see more of them in the future, which is exactly what we're going to get. On to the next set of things here. Now I asked some of the devs, what are some of their favorite weapons they added in in this recent update? And I just grabbed a handful of them. The first couple are some of the dev choices. And then these ones were just random ones I grabbed. Let's see them in action. Starting with the Constellator. Uh, increased crit chance during night. That's pretty cool. But let's see it in action. Ooh. Ooh, I like the effects on this one. And then if it's nighttime, you do a little bit more damage. Next up, we got the Swarm of the Wrath. Let's see this one. Okay, again, it has the same type of uh, star effect. Very cool. A little hard to aim. The uh, next weapon here takes stars to shoot. The Star Storm. Showers enemies with a stream of stars. Right click to shoot a star that marks enemies. Marked enemies emit star shards upon taking damage. Interesting. I don't know if I can mark a dummy, but I did anyways. 
this one has a very unique attack. Uh, I want to actually try it on an actual enemy here. I don't know what enemy would be like a good one. Maybe a, a creature from the deep. Come over here. Okay, we marked it. I don't know what the hell star shards are, but next up we have the solstice. Let's see this in action here. Holy! This is this is dope as hell. Next up, the highlighter. Okay, very interesting. Do I have to like get him in the circle? Ooh. After that, we have the tome of patromancy, patromancy, something like that. Shoots a stream of rainbow fire, inflicting random debuffs on here. Okay, sounds like an Isaac item. All right, let's check out the next couple of items here. Fishbone. Amazing. After that, we have the Hell Gaze summons flaming notes on contact. So it's a spear? <laughs> I don't know. Short sword? Ooh. <laughs> Plays music and does decent damage. Maybe not the greatest music. All right, next up, we have the Snowflake or Snow Flack E. Let's see it in action here. So it uses snowballs and it just shoots a lot of snowballs. This seems like an upgraded version of the snowball gun. After that, we got some summoner stuff. Let's start with this one Sprinkler. Wow, this looks like a Mario. I mean. <laughs> After that, I don't think I can de-summon this guy. I think I have to go really far to de-summon him. I'm going to just put him over here. Go in that cave. There you go. Next up, we have the Vine Monger Staffs. Sure. Whoa. So I'm assuming they're not going to attack the dummy, but let's sum summon in some zombies here. Look at that. That is a beautiful animation. The sprites and the animations of this mod have been amazing so far. And last but not least for weapons, we have the extraterrestrial rod. Some is a moon sauce essentially that shoots enemies with deadly lasers. Oh, hello. Do you want to shoot these guys for me? So this is a century? That's pretty crazy. All right, so next up here, I got a couple of mounts they added in. I believe these are both new. Let's start with this one, the sheep. Some is a rideable sheep mount. Refuse to be died, gotta catch them all. Is this Wooloo? This is Wooloo, right? Gotta be. So yeah, the sheep is pretty decent, but as you can see, it's got an amazing jumping animation. Yes, sir. I would definitely consider this an S tier mount just off the jumping animation alone. And the other one we have Forecaster's Rod, which is an expert drop. Some is a rideable angry Nimbus. I, mean, I believe this is from one of the new bosses. And uh, as you can see, this is really cool. I like this. I wonder if I do damage. Let's see, let's go over the dummy. Do we do damage with the rain? We do. That's so cool. Now, I'm not going to lie. This thing is a little bit hard to control. It's a little hard to fly, but I love how unique it is because you know, there's not too many uh, mounts that do damage on its own with, without running into something. So this and like the Scutless, Scutlix mount, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. But yeah, as you can see around the area, I have a bunch of just like furniture and stuff laid down. Uh, this one's my favorite right here. Mystery Man, aka like human form of Peter Griffin. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. Some of the stuff you use for crafting. Some of the stuff are buffs like this. Boom. Look at that. Reinforcement. Increase your max number of centuries. One of these things is giving us the Fury Forged buff. Haha. -ha. I believe it might be the old furnaces doing it. Actually, I don't know. Then. <laughs> it's, it's one of the furnaces. Uh, there's this thing. Whoa. <laughs> there's this thing. Which is like a Tesla sort of tower. Uh, there's this cog right here. It has an icon. I don't know. I can't really touch it though. Uh, there's toilets, of course. Who doesn't love toilets? Put them in the middle. But yeah, that's just some of the new furniture and stuff. And also, more furniture and stuff over here. This is Frostwood, the blue stuff. Because I believe there's a whole new like biome and set of trees and stuff you can grow over here. Uh, I don't know if this is actually specifically the place where you do it. But before we check that out, let's go over probably my favorite feature added in, in this update and that is the camera slash photographer feature now if i open the door here hello this is the scutterbug npc i believe they're called all right so you get your hands on a groovy camera here don't know how to get my hands onto it which i guess is good so i don't actually spoil myself when i do do a playthrough of this mod but as you can see can be used to take pictures of various creatures use magic clips given every day to complete quests and get rewards so we talk to her we ask her for a clip um i think she's not giving me one and she's being very rude don't touch me while i'm partying do you see the distance in between us that's got to be like six feet into her area uh but yeah since she's being an asshole i had to like wait for the time of day to actually like move correctly or something uh and also i probably shouldn't pause the time all right daytime has come can you please give me what i need can you not ruin my day for at least five minutes what the fuck is up with this bitch all right the game wants me to like legit wait a whole day all right when's if i do the uh the enchanted sundial effect will that help out see i messed up when i was doing testing and because i was doing testing you know testing messed it 
up she thinks it's still the same day so hopefully this fixes it will you give me a clip now there we go so you talk to her every day and you get a clip which is pretty much like ammo for the camera and uh you can, you can spam it it's not gonna be gone if you spam it because the clip is only used once you take a picture of a valid animal now in the future I have been told, I don't know if I could share it, but there's going to be a little, a little mod collaboration, another mod that you can take pictures of creatures with. But for now, if I talk to her, look at this. She has a, she has a bunny. I took a picture of a bunny during testing. And as you can see, uh, some of these pictures, you might be able to tell what animal they are or what creature you have to take a picture of. And uh, this is a really cool and unique feature. It's really, really different. Reminds me of a lot, reminds me a lot of uh, Pokemon Snap. Uh, what's that game that came out recently? Bug Snap which uh, is a very fun game. I really want to play Bug Snacks. That game just looks really funny. But as you can see, you take pictures of stuff, and then when you take pictures of stuff, you, could, you can come to her, and she'll give you a portrait of what you took a picture of, and you can hang it up. I obviously did that off camera, and I kind of, kind of ruined it. But let's see if I can take a picture of something else here. I'm going to kind of cheat. And when I say cheat, I mean I looked at some of the uh, frames just to see uh, what creature we had to take a picture of. But I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. Well, besides, you know, the bunny in this one, I'm I'm about to take a picture of but we're gonna spawn in a mortar crab here look at this thing this thing looks amazing great creativity let's take a picture of it boom and look at this animation oh my god so beautiful but as you can see now the camera doesn't have a clip in it so that means we go back to spawn here and we talk to this bitch i'm sorry she, she was rude so I'm, I'm gonna call it how it is but yeah we talked there she has an exclamation point over her head clip no album there you go and then as you can see here mortar crab click to claim reward boom and the reward is she'll give us an envelope with goodies in it look at that and then you are able to get a picture frame i don't remember how i got one earlier but now i don't remember how all right here we go this is a good enough wall i think boom look at that what a great picture i actually really like this picture they're doing a little crab dance and then we got the bunny one beautiful the sprites in this mod really are just amazing but yeah that was the groovy camera slash photographer feature probably gonna be my favorite thing we do when i play the split mod because it's just it's so cool i i'm kind of upset how there isn't too many i wish there was a lot more but this is so cool i guess i could just imagine things with 1.4 coming out in the bestiary oh my god it's gonna be amazing but yeah let us get onto bosses and enemies here and then maybe that'll round off the video all right so let us check out some of the new mini bosses or some of these mini bosses might have been in the game might have been in the mod already and they just got updated a little bit but let's start with this first one the colossus oh my god i just love the animations from this Re whoa bro calm down i'm in god mode really talented animators and spiders oh my god he's so cool this guy definitely got a sprite animation or just overhaul in general because i think i remember this dude looking different specifically but yeah such a cool mini boss on to the next even has a cool death animation look at that next up here we have the fairy fly this thing spawns in the hollow if you can't just tell by it's by it being a, a fairy but yeah this thing cool effects cool animations just like the previous one uh, maybe not as cool but i could appreciate the the whoo, whoo noises <laughs> let's go ahead and kill it see if it does anything crazy yeah this is a fairly simple death animation drops a light core though which i guess you know no spoilers might as well see what that does oh armor set Ooh. and on to another mini boss here the breathtaker i remember this guy he was in the trailer uh you fight him in the underworld i believe some certain area in the underworld and the colossus that we looked at looked at earlier you fight him during the blood moon but yeah this guy's cool death animation question mark yeah, he dropped a matchbook. Summons Mr. Sunny. Uh, is this a pet? Oh. <laughs> Reminds me of the uh, sun from Mario. All right, so we're going to check out the uh, actual new bosses here. Spoiler, if you don't want to see them. But I guess before we do that, there is a couple areas underground I do want to check out. But let's check out this one first, which I believe, yeah, this is the area where you fight that last mini boss, the sun one. This is the uh, underworld domain. Obviously, it's a lot brighter because I have the light turned on and as you can see there's a lot of goodies it looks really cool poggers can't wait to check this out in person or in a playthrough next up there's an area over here i believe this was in the mod before though this sunken ship area wow this looks really cool though hein zimmer was decapitated rest in peace all right so the first boss we're gonna check out here is the menace this is a pre-hard mode boss you're supposed to talk to a menacing person to summon it in don't know the specifics if i'm being honest but let me just like summon it in like this i'm gonna just click on something oh 
Oh, there you go. Oh, that's the death animation. Wow, look at the death animation. Even the death animation is cool. Holy, that's really cool. What about this one? Oh, there we go. He's going to run away a bit, so I'm going to grab onto him. Look at that. Next time, weakling. Look, he's going to take off. Ooh. <laughs> this boss looks really cool. I don't know what the circumstances are to fight it uh, because I believe the wiki isn't up to date yet. But this is a Nimbus guy. He rains on you. That's what I'm assuming he does. Maybe it has to be nighttime. Hello. Okay, you know what? You can run away. There we go. That was all we needed was for it to be nighttime. Hey, sir, I have a question. Do you want to fight me? Okay. Okay, let's see some of the attacks, though. These are raining stars on us. Okay. Let me see if the Nimbus actually rains. Oh, look at that. Daggers? I'm doing pretty good. I haven't really moved yet, and I'm dodging most of his abilities. All right, let's get him to, like, half up. Is it the second phase? Question mark. New attacks? Oh, Tetris. He plays Tetris. All right, he's down to 10 health. Does he do anything else at 10 health? Oh, big stars. Ooh. That's the Empress of Light right there, man. All right, let's kill it. Get to see the cool animation again. Look at that. It even, like, moves our camera, which is even cooler. But yeah, that was the Menace. Really cool boss. Pretty hard mode boss, by the way, if I didn't say it before. We're in hard mode. We're going back over here for the next boss. Boom. Paraffin. Beautiful. Definitely looks like it belongs here. Let's see the animation. Damn, she throwing hands, literally. Okay, so she was like a twister. Oh, she's dizzy now, so I'm assuming that's where we get our hits in. She's playing the little guitar. You like to see it. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get her to half hug, I guess. There you go. Phase two, okay. That's Cuphead vibes right there. <laughs> she hit herself in the head with a hammer. She's doing the same attack, but it seems like a, maybe a little bit faster. Oh, look at this. Different pattern on this. So the attacks seem pretty simple from there. It's just, you know, three, four attacks that you have to dodge. And if you will kill her, she is only after uh, the wall of flesh, so she shouldn't be too hard. But there you go, another cool boss. Who the hell is this? This guy looks scary. Uh, I heard some noises, and this guy's just chilling up here. My boy Vulcan, what's up, bro? All right, so there is one more boss to show off. I'm not going to show this one off, because I believe this is pretty much like the final boss in terms of the uh, split mod. Right there, Seth. This is all you get. You get a picture. I'm going to type in Seth. You can't even really see it. Because, yeah, I believe this is the final boss. This is right before the Moon Lord. Yeah. Before the Moon Lord, before the cultist. Hey, look. It's a sheep. And honestly, for my own sake, I was down to show it off. But I kind of want to save it for if I do a playthrough. I kind of want to be like, whoa, this boss is crazy. So I think well, we're not going to show this one. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mod showcase slash mod update showcase video. There's still a lot of other features. I'm going to put up the screenshot here of this update and all the new content that it says it came out with. You know, the change log. So there's a lot of stuff for you guys to explore too. You know, if you don't own PC Terraria and you can't explore it, I guess wait for my playthrough. But who knows? knows when that's coming you know you got to get in line you got the clicker class you got the spirit mod you got the mod of redemption it's like there's a bunch of stuff i gotta check out and play through for them but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to check out the mod i'll see you next time have a have a great day